Now, my next guest we'll all remember as uh, one of the biggest soap characters in EastEnders over the past a number of years. She's famous for playing the part of Pat Butcher. And on the show today, she's going to be talking about her work with the animal charity Brooke. Here's what happens when I met Pam St. Clement. So I'm pleased to say that uh, Pam St. Clement joins me now on the line. Pam, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you, and I hope you are. Very well, thank you. So, yeah, so we're talking today about um, animals and um, specifically the hardworking donkeys and horses, especially this time of year. And before I came on to talk to you there, I took a look through the internet and found some horrific uh, visuals and things of these animals and the way they're kind of mistreated, aren't they? I'm afraid they are, but that's more through ignorance than direct cruelty, which you might see in a more developed country, because we're talking about animals that are working across Africa, Asia, the Middle East and Latin America. One can see where that idea comes from, that if you're... If your donkey or horse is your lifeline, it carries your water, your food, your goods, your children to school, whatever it might be. They do all the work. The, the temptation is to think the more you do, the more benefit you get as a human being, whether it be in money because you're carrying goods, bricks from kilns, whatever it might be. Uh, but it doesn't work like that because you're on a, hiding to nowhere. Your animal is overworked, can get ill, can get damaged in some way, injured. So it, really what, what Brooke does is, is try to bring lasting change to the lives of, of working animals to help those that are sick and overworked and help basically to help the owners understand that if they look after their animal, it's the greatest asset they have in their life. So look after it, don't overwork it. And there's supports, uh, you know, support for communities, local health providers and policy makers to, to bring those, an end to suffering and, and, and ensure that the animals can live healthy and happy lives. Albeit working, there is nothing wrong with that. So why did you decide to get involved with Brooke then? I, I, I know as a child, you grew up on a working farm, didn't you? I did indeed, but and in, in the days when not everybody had tractors, um, they would, you know, they were for the rich farmers, um, and we had two lovely working horses, two shower horses called Duchess and Violet, and also of course we had collies because we kept sheep and, and cows. Strangely enough, Brooke had a, a, a presence uh, in uh, in Jordan a long time ago, and I was visiting Petra. And I, and I saw the work they were doing. They actually had a presence there, a veterinary presence. And I saw the work they were doing and having seen in various countries in Southeast Asia and in the Middle East, how donkeys particularly were, were worked and treated. Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was offered a donkey to take me up in Petra from the base of, the, of Petra up to the monastery up on the hill. And I thought, I'm sorry, but I've got more respect for the, that animal than putting me on its back. There is no way. But that's the sort of attitude that's that's earning and not kind to the animal. And I thought, no, this must go on a lot. And 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 of course it does. And you see you see those terrible films of what's happened to those wonderful animals, so biddable, so willing wonderful companions and workers so if people want some more information on the work that uh, brooke do how, how did they get that the website the brook and that's with an e brook dot org brilliant well pam since i have you on the show today i gotta tell you as well we, we've missed you so much on tv over the past uh, oh, 10 years we really have and uh, being a massive soap fan the massive east enders fan i gotta say one of the most uh, heartbreaking scenes on television that i've ever seen was uh Pat Butcher's death, was, was that difficult to do? Well, it was difficult because of the, uh, of the context. In other words, I was leaving. Yeah. And I think that made it doubly, although I was the one who I think kept, kept my head straight most of the time and didn't get involved. I couldn't. I couldn't at any, at any time we were filming all that. I couldn't come out of character and be me because then I would have had it. But, yeah. you know, whilst ever I kept my eye on the ball <laughs> i was fine <laughs> it, it, yes it was a very strange thing to have to do and do you miss pat 
I've put her away now. I've put her in the in, in the in the wardrobe like an old coat, um, and I'm not sure that I can even fit in her anymore. I mean, I, I'm not sure that I haven't sort of got over her now. It took a while. It was quite yeah. a, a a period of mourning. And when I look back at all the great scenes that you had over the years, I mean, it must have been totally amazing to work with people like the late great Barbara Windsor. Yes, indeed, I do miss Babs like mad. Yes, I miss her. I miss everybody at EastEnders, actually. Yeah. It's obviously, it was a large part of my life. And of course, Mike Reed as well, because uh, Pat and Frank were just the, the ultimate soap couple, weren't they? <laughs> yes. Yes, I can remember our executive producer at the time said, uh, it's the only true love story in EastEnders, Pat and Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so what's life like these days for you? Are you keeping busy? Not really. I'm unfortunately one of the vulnerable ones, so I have to be a little bit careful despite having all the jabs. Um, and none of us know what's happening, basically. I, I mean, you know, we're, we're playing it all by ear. I mean, it's, it's, where do we go from here? We have to be spontaneous. And I think I'm not very good at being spontaneous. <laughs> uh, you know, changing plans on a, you know, on a, just a moment's whim. But um, anyway. No, life goes on, and, and and actually, it's 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 quite enjoyable. I'm, I'm quite enjoying not having any stress. Yes, yeah. And what's Christmas got in store for you? Do any of us know? Well, I know exactly. Yes, yeah. But um, no, it'll be interesting to see what happens. It will, of course. Well, Pam, it's been great talking to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on the show today. Thank you very much, and thank you for your kind comments. Oh, thank you. Lovely to meet you. Happy Christmas. <laughs> 